Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is verb phrase 177. The verb phrase today is take in, and we have 10 meanings and uses for the verb phrase take in. It's a very common verb phrase, and it could have many different meanings. All right, we'll give at least one example, maybe two, for each use here. So let's look at the first one. First one means to allow someone to live in one's home. Okay. Uh, after my sister lost her job and got kicked out of her apartment, I took my sister and her children in and they lived uh, with me for three years. Okay, so you took them in, you allowed them to live in your house. This is the first use that we have of to take in. Okay, uh, let's look at number two here. Uh, to understand or appreciate something that one is experiencing. All right, we got two for this one. Uh, let's look at the first one. Let's sit for a few minutes. I want to take in the view. So this is what you're experiencing. You want to appreciate it. You want to appreciate the view. So you want to take in the view. Okay, and the second one here is uh, they use too many technical words and I couldn't take it all in. So this one is understand. It means you couldn't understand it all. You couldn't take it all in. Your brain couldn't absorb it all. Maybe the words were too technical. Okay. The third meaning here, uh, to admit somebody usually into, you know, with an institution like schools are an institution. The example here we use with a hospital. So here's the example. That hospital is completely full. Yeah, maybe they don't have any beds left. Uh, they are not taking in any more patients. So they're not allowing any more to come in. They're not admitting any more. Okay, number four. Uh, to make one's clothes smaller, narrower, or shorter. Okay, so here's the example. Uh, I bought this beautiful dress in... Um, at a second-hand store, uh, but it was the wrong size, so I took it to a tailor and had it taken in. So maybe he made it either shorter or he made it smaller so it could fit her better. Okay. Number five, um, to enter or flow in or allow in. All right, so here you say, my basement took in a foot of water due to a flood. So I don't know, maybe it's, you know, a lot of rain or maybe a river overflowed or something and whatever it is, it, it caused your basement to fill up with some water. So your basement took in a foot of water. And then of course you would have the trouble having to get rid of that or get it out and hopefully it'll dry up and not do too much damage. All right, um, all right. and uh, here we, we also have uh, flowers need to take in sunlight, so absorb, they allow them, so the flowers allow sunlight in, they absorb the sunlight, so they, flowers can take in sunlight. Okay, good, let's look at the next one here, number six, um, to bring something to a place for repair, uh, or a person for treatment, or maybe even an animal for treatment. Okay, I heard uh, some strange noises coming from my engine, so I took in, so I took it in the service station and had it checked out. Yeah, so you took it in or into the service station and had them look at it. Okay, good. Or, or maybe you could, you know, take an animal, um, you know, take an animal in, in, you know, like in a vet or something, have them checked out too. Okay, number seven here. Uh, to admit or receive a, a guest or an employee, you know, into your home also. Um, sure. So we said they had difficulty raising four children. So they had to take in a full-time nanny or a babysitter. So maybe they took one in. They had them live there too. So they took into, but she's an employee this time, somebody working for you. Okay, good. Number eight. Uh, to inhale or breathe in. <sighs> you take in air like that. So let's go hiking and take in some fresh air. Okay, good. All right, and number nine. Uh, we could say to bring somebody to a police station or arrest them. Yeah. So here's the example. The police took in that suspect for questioning. They took him in. 
they took him into the police station to ask him a lot of questions. Okay, Or maybe they could take somebody in and arrest them too. All right, number 10 here. Uh, to be taken in by. All right, this one's slightly different because you got take in and you also have to follow it by by. So if you're taken in by someone or something, it means that you were cheated or swindled by them. All right, and here's the last example. She was taken in by a phone scam. Yeah, maybe they called her up and they convinced her to wire some money for some reason. Yeah, in Asia, they used to have a lot of the ones where... Uh, you know, maybe they used to tell somebody that their child was kidnapped and they heard a, a child crying and, you know, they just had to find somebody that really had a, you know, either a grandchild or a child and they might get nervous and they panic and they actually wire money and they get taken in. And this never really was a kidnapping. Uh, but anyway, so you could be taken in by a scam or you could be taken in by some trick. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.